Okay, so I'm going to show you how to update this little comment um, button. Um, if you have your comments enabled for your blog posts, this is usually what they look like, and it's a default of black, and it's a little bit boring. And usually there's no easy styling in the style editor to change that. So there's a quick little um, CSS um, edit that you can use to change the background color and the font and stuff too if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna show you the background color um, here and you can make it look just a little bit nicer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into um, from pages to design and then custom CSS. And then I'm going to, I pasted a bit of code um, in for you just so you can kind of see what that default, um, what, what I use so you can see it as like a template. So basically what you wanna do, I'm gonna paste that in here and you'll see that it automatically changes. So we're gonna go through and I'll show you how to do that. So you can try and copy and paste exactly what I have here and depending on your template, it may work perfectly. If you have a different template, we may need to update this part so that it pulls the, um, it's able to find the button. So in order to do that, let's say that you paste this in and it doesn't do anything. What you wanna do is you're going to click, um, right click or control click on the button itself, anywhere on the button, it doesn't matter. So I'm just literally pointing at it, pressing control click and then um, inspect. And so what will happen is it will pull up all of the code for the site and it's automatically gonna highlight what we just clicked on for the button. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just double click on that part and it will highlight that whole portion for me. And you can see that if I just keep my cursor here, my, my mouse, it highlights the button perfectly. So this is what I need. So I'm going to just copy what's highlighted and I'm going to paste it into my um, design area. So now we have to do a couple things. Number one, this is a class element, which means that we have to put a period in front of it. If it was an ID, if it said span ID, then we would have to put a little hashtag. But it's a class, so I'm gonna put the period. And then we have to connect, there's spaces in between which we can't have, so we're gonna have to connect that. So that's super simple. We literally just um, connect them with another period for each space that you have. So now it's all connected. Then we have to put in our curly brackets. So if you put in that first one, it'll add the last one, and then just click enter, so you give yourself some space. And then we're gonna change the background color. So we'll write background dash color, and then you can put in whatever hex code for your color that you have that you wanna change it to. Let's say you wanna change it to, I don't even know, you don't even have to do hex, you could just do pink, or something like that. So if we deleted this one, which is kind of overriding it, um, we'll see that now it's changed to pink. So you can change this to anything you want. And then since I mentioned fonts, let me just quickly say that if you wanted to change the font size or something like that, you know, you could totally do that and change it to something enormous, <laughs> whatever you want to do. So you can always kind of dive more deeply into the CSS part of it, but just so that you're kind of keeping it the way it was, just making it look a little less boring and black. Um, this is the way you would do that for the comment button. And that's it.